What's going on guys, John Kelly here and today we're talking about gadgets. We're talking about those little items that you take out on the trail with you that aren't necessarily backpacks or sleeping bags or tents. These are those little items that you could probably go without but they definitely enhance and make a trip better. And so let's talk about seven different gadgets that I think you need to pick up in 2022. The first item on this list is one that people typically associate with hammock camping. This is the hang time hook, but I'm gonna tell you this is also very useful in a tent. Uh, this is simply an item that you can put over a ridge line in a hammock, or if you've got a clothesline inside of your tent, you can connect your phone to it very simply just by putting your phone here. And if you wanna watch a movie at night, uh, you've got your favorite YouTube channel like uh, this one, and you wanna watch it at night, uh, you can do that just laying in your hammock or in your tent. Uh, now I know there's a lot of people out there saying, don't you be watching those movies out on the trail. You're supposed to be out there to enjoy the outdoors. You obviously don't have a three and a four year old, and all you watch for the last two weeks is Encanto 5,000 times. It's nice sometimes to get out in the woods and get to watch the movies you want to watch. And uh, this is great for that. It's got several other hooks throughout it, if you can see here. Um, different places where you can hang cables. I've seen people take this hook right here in the bottom and they hang a, uh, they'll like hang their battery off of that. They'll, they'll put a hook in there for that. These only weigh 1.7 ounces. You can get it for about 20 bucks. And uh, Hammock Gear is a place where I'd go to check these out. They seem to have the best price. They're usually about a dollar or two more everywhere else, but it seems like Hammock Gear has these for 20 bucks. So I'll make sure there's links below for those. Those are affiliate links. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything if you use those, but if you do, it does help the channel out. But I love the hang time hook. This is definitely something you guys ought to check out. The next item on the list is a knife. It is the Mora Knife Companion Spark Knife. Uh, love the knife as a whole. As you can see, it's got that nice 3.9 inch blade, very strong steel. Uh, but what separates this from your typical Mora knife is the fact that on the back of it, you have a built-in ferro rod. And uh, if you're someone who likes to have some backup, for things like starting fires, this is really nice to have. You simply just pull it out of the back of the knife and launch some sparks out. I was really afraid of setting my desk on fire right there. This knife is a great option. You can get it over at Amazon for like $30. It only weighs 4.7 ounces. Uh, it comes with a sheath and uh, a little belt clip on the back of it. Great option, something you definitely ought to check out in 2022. Have you been out on a backpacking trip and something failed? Maybe it was a buckle, or you had a toggle that disappeared, or uh, a zip pull that came loose and you just can't find it. You're having trouble getting in and out of things. Well, this little item right here is something you ought to check out. This is from Outdoor Products. This is basically a replacement hardware kit uh, with all different kinds of connectors and things in it. This thing's only like three or four bucks. Uh, you can get them at Walmart. They're really inexpensive, but what's great is, is, I mean, if you look at this one in particular, look at what all it comes with. You've got four cord locks, four zipper pulls, two one inch sliders, two one inch buckles, one two inch slider and a one two inch buckle. This is great for multiple reasons. One, field repairs. Something happens and you bring an extra buckle or two with you, you keep those maybe in your ditty bag so that if something happens, you can repair them. This is great for that. It's also great if you're at home and you wanna switch out buckles. You don't like the way something's fitting on, on a piece of gear. You can change those out with this. It's also great for uh, make your own gear people who are trying to design their own backpacking gear. Like I said, for three to four dollars, this is a killer deal. I would definitely check this out. Up next on the list is my Silky Saw Pocket Boy. It's a seven inch blade. It weighs 7.7 .7 ounces. It has an, a fantastic rubber grip and this thing goes through wood like a warm knife through butter. I've been using this exact knot, this exact saw for two years now. And uh, I can honestly tell you, this thing has cut through everything. Weighing it at 7.7 .7 ounces and $39, this is a killer deal. If you're somebody who likes to uh, have a big fire when you're out backpacking, having something like this is great. It does come with a plastic carrying case, uh, but I don't take that with me when I go on trail. I do keep it in that when it's here at the house. But uh, when I'm on trail, this guy is uh, just sitting in the side of my backpack and available if I need it. Now, is this for a through hiker? No, <laughs> this is this is for the weekend warrior uh, who wants 
to have a campfire every night when they're out in the backcountry. Uh, if you're wanting to process wood, this is a fantastic option. I would definitely check out the Pocket Boy in 2022. Next up on the list is this little roll of tape right here. This is Tenacious Tape. Uh, if you've never heard of Tenacious Tape, imagine you are sitting around a campfire, spark comes off of the fire, that ember hits your however many hundred dollar puffy jacket and melts a hole in it. Suddenly feathers are exposed, you've got the ability to potentially lose some insulation from that section of your jacket. What do you do? In comes Tenacious Tape. This stuff is amazing. Uh, I've got three jackets right now that have Tenacious Tape on them, and one of them that has had Tenacious Tape on it for almost two years, and that piece of Tenacious Tape is still holding firm after two years of being on a jacket. This stuff is just great. You can use it on backpacks, you can use it on tents, you can use it on sleeping bags, quilts. This repair tape is made out of nylon and has an aggressive adhesive on it, and I mean it is aggressive. The best thing that's great about this is you can cut it to form however you need it to fit on your gear. Uh, simply cut out a small piece, uh, cut it in the shape you want, and then patch it onto your gear. This is vital, I think, for any backpacker, having some form of repair tape when you're out in the backcountry. So getting something like this in your hands is fantastic. I was actually over at REI, where I had purchased this from. Uh, these are about $6 a roll, but they actually have a, a roll right now. It's, if you don't mind platinum white, the entire roll is like $3. I mean, that's kind of a ridiculous price for a roll of this tape. This stuff is so invaluable and so good. Um, I would suggest anybody get their hands on this. The next gadget on this list is a really tiny little knife that many of you have probably used before. That is the Swiss Army Knife Classic. This is a, a knife that I've had for almost 20 years. Uh, actually, I take that back. I've had this knife for over 20 years. I've actually used this little knife right here to cut through steak when I was eating my first Jason Waugh, Mr. Backpacking with Jason Sir steak in the Red River Gorge. I was made fun of mercilessly for using this knife to eat my steak with, but Jason was actually kind of surprised at how easily this cut through my steak. What's great about this knife isn't the fact that it's a good steak knife. What's great about this knife is that it is so useful in so many ways. One way is you've got this great little set of scissors right here. Uh, if you're, you've got blisters or you need to pull out your tenacious tape or luco tape or whatever to do different things, um, you've got these little scissors that allow you to cut through that very easily. You've also got, obviously, your typical blade right here. Uh, it's just a small blade, but this thing is pretty sharp and it'll cut through just about anything. But one thing that is cool about this, and it's something that you can buy now, if you go over and check out Justin Outdoors, uh, he put on a video just the other day that you can now buy little ferro rods that can go inside of where the toothpick is. If you're more of the weekend warrior, you want to baton wood, you want to do things, this is probably the knife you're going to want to choose. But if you're more of the through hiker, someone who's trying to cut ounces, this is probably your option. You can get these for about 20 bucks, and I can tell you right now, these things are worth it. These are even great as an everyday carry knife. For this last item, I wanted to find one that uh, was something I tend to use on almost every trip. Something that is of utmost importance that honestly, if I don't have it, I don't enjoy backpacking as much. And so obviously it had to do with coffee, and that is the GSI Java Drip. I've talked about this before in videos, and I have to be honest, two years later, this thing is still my favorite way to do coffee in the backcountry. Weighing in at less than an ounce. I think this thing weighs in at less than half an ounce. And only $11, this is a killer purchase. Uh, being able to have good, hot, fresh coffee when you're out on the trail is a big deal. Uh, you're not just out there for nature, you're out there just to enjoy life in general. And why not have one of the best things you can have when you're on trail and that's a good cup of coffee. Like I said, they're super cheap, really lightweight. Even a through hiker could take this thing out and not feel guilty. Uh, but definitely check this out if you want a good cup of coffee while you're out on the trail. So what about you guys? What are some awesome pieces of gear, little gadgets that you like to take out when you go on trail? Let me know about those. And if you want to find out about gear that I'm taking out this year, brand new gear I've never used before, check out this video right here and you'll be able to see the stuff that I'm looking forward to having use of in 2022. So until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I will catch you on the next go round.